Hi, it's Mary from Doodle Crate. In this video, we'll be making our own handmade masks with a technique called paper mache. This crate includes some tin foil, a cardboard tube and ears, a roll of plaster cloth, a mask, four paint cups, a foam brush, some paints, and a blue ribbon. You'll also need a bowl of water, some plastic wrap, a roll of masking tape, some glue, scissors, and a pencil. Paper mache is all about creating objects using paper and plaster, or glue. By building up the layers, you can make just about anything. In this crate, I'll show you how to create a fox mask, but feel free to create any creature you'd like. Let's begin by creating the shape of your mold. Your mold isn't a part of your mask, so don't worry if it doesn't look perfect. First, crumple together sheets of aluminum foil to form a bowl shape. Repeat this to make another bowl. Then press those foil bowls against the cheeks of the face mask and tape them in place. To give your mold a more even look, Lay a sheet of aluminum foil over the top and bottom of your mask. To make the nose, cut slots around the end of the cardboard tube and fold those pieces back to create little tabs. Then place that tube against the nose of your face mask and tape that in place. Crumple up a sheet of aluminum foil and stick it to the top of your nose to give it a more rounded look. Cover the mold with plastic wrap. The plastic wrap will keep your mask from sticking to the mold when it dries, so make sure you cover the entire thing. Flip your mold over and tape the cardboard ears in place. The cardboard ears will stay inside of the completed mask, so you don't need to cover them with saran wrap. Now let's make our mask. This process can get pretty messy, so be sure to wear clothes you don't mind getting dirty and protect your work surface. To begin, cut small strips of plaster cloth. Dip a strip all the way into your bowl of water. Make sure the entire strip gets wet. Then lay that strip on top of your mold. Continue to layer strips of plaster cloth onto your mold until it's completely covered. I like to blend the strips together. This will create a more even mask. Add another layer of plaster cloth around the edges of your mask to make it extra sturdy. Make sure to blend the edges of your mask so the extra layer isn't obvious. Reinforce the ears by adding some strips to the back of the cardboard triangles. Then, let your mask dry overnight. Once your mask is dry, flip your mask over and cut off the tape to help separate the mold from the mask. Then gently pull it apart. This can be done over a garbage can or your craft paper. Just make sure to fold up your craft paper when you're done and toss it away. If you're having trouble, ask a friend for help. It takes some strength to get the mask off the mold. Give the bottom of your mask a clean edge and clean up the edges of your mask by cutting away any stray bits of plaster cloth. Don't worry if your mask cracks or comes apart a little bit. Just add a dab of glue and hold it together for a minute or two. Now let's paint our mask. First, squeeze some black and white paint into separate paint cups. Then mix equal parts yellow and red to create an orange color. You can always test your paint on the inside of your mask to see if you like the color. With the orange paint, I'm creating the forehead of the fox, leaving the tips of its ears and its cheeks white. To make sure your colors don't mix, Wait about 10 minutes for each color of paint to dry before you start the next one. Paint your fox's cheeks, the bottom of its nose, and the tips of the ears white. You can even create small wispy lines to give it a furry look. Then paint the edges of your fox's ears and the tips of its nose black. Let your mask dry for about an hour. Just a few more steps and your mask will be ready to wear. You might need some help from a friend for these steps, so keep an assistant handy. To make sure the eye holes are in the correct spot, hold your mask onto your face. Then using a pencil, lightly draw a circle over your eyes. Your assistant can help cut the eye holes out of your mask by using a sharp pair of scissors or a craft knife. Lastly, glue ribbon on both sides of your mask. 
Once the glue dries, your mask is ready to wear. You can also add whiskers by painting a couple dots on either cheek and create depth by darkening the ears. I'd love to see your designs, so share with us by using hashtag DoodleCrate and hashtag DoodlePaperMache to be featured on a post. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. And you can subscribe a blub. A blub. <laughs> and clip. <clears throat> okay.